Okay, for those who don't know, Chisimba is a multi-purpose web application development framework that is pretty much usable to develop any kind of web application. Uh, anything that needs a web back-end or front-end can be built using Chisimba. Now, what I'm going to show you how to do today is to use Chisimba's built-in module creation capability. Chisimba has a modular architecture and everything that you create in Chisimba uh, can be done as a module. Now I'm going to be building a module uh, for my own dkeats.com website which I'm going to call switchboard because I need a switchboard module um, that allows people to go to my site and switch between my professional stuff and my personal stuff which is mostly on my blog now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Chisimba's built-in tools so I'm going to just close the Chisimba.com website if you're interested in Chisimba go to www.chisimba.com where you'll get instructions for downloading it or checking it out of its version repository so I'm going to go to my local installation uh, no that's not it sorry there it is I'm going to go to my local installation which is just run, running on local hosts in a directory uh, called CH for Chisimba and I'm going to log into that site um, with an administrator rights now I've already installed a module called module builder if you didn't have module builder installed what you would do is you would go to module catalog from the main admin menu you select module catalog and you search for um, module Builder. And when it comes back, you'll see that I've got Module Builder here. It's pre alpha. Uh, and you can uninstall it here. Uh, if it wasn't installed, uh, then I would be able to select it and install it. But I've got it already installed, so let's go to Module Builder. Now, as you can see, uh, Module Builder has a kind of goofy looking interface. Now what we're going to do is we're going to build a module. And these are just demonstration blocks that show you how, the, how Module Builder uh, will create blocks for you. Now I use a I use a two column I use a three column layout and so you've got three columns here. But later on in my CSS I merge these two narrow columns these ones over here together and so that's how I get the, the two column layout effect. So my module code is going to be and then you should use something that's meaningful so in my case it's going to be switchboard hopefully nobody has created a switchboard module already let me just go into the <coughs> folders using NetBeans and see make sure that there isn't one there called switchboard No, no switchboard module. So I can make one called switchboard and I'll just call it switchboard. And the long description of the module is enabling switching between different views. and what kind of templates am I going to use? I can either use JSON templates um, or I can use a dynamic canvas. JSON templates allow you to um, basically create templates in which you load the functionality using a JSON syntax. Uh, syntax. I'll show you one example um, in the uh, <coughs> uh, UNESCO OER module um, which makes use of a let me just find one first okay here we go so this is a template that is used for editing the institutions that are pre uh, that participate in it and as you can see if I can just get all this stuff out of the way here as you can see it just uses a little bit of JSON 
to display a block and you can see that the block is called institution type edit that's JSON templates I'm not going to be using JSON templates in my module I'm going to be using a dynamic canvas and, and you can see that um, my dynamic canvas can be user level, page level or module level what that means is the user has control over what appears on, on the page the page itself determines what appears on the page or you have one layout per module now in my particular case there's only going to be one switchboard so I'm going to choose module level and then I'm just going to choose create module it's as simple as that my module has been created I can now go to module catalog and install it okay so let's go back to module catalog and you can see there's a whole bunch of patches here I'm not going to worry about those patches now I'm going to just search for oh I'm sorry I have to update module catalog which will take a little while um, because it has to go through and and find any new files that I've added to to the system and, and update all the modules that are on here but what we're going to do is we're going to just scroll down in NetBeans and we're going to look at the, file, the module that we've just created and what did I call it? Switchboard. 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 Where are you? There you go. You see it's created and the little blue icon there indicates that it's not been checked into subversion or anything and, you can s and, and, and all the files and everything in there are new. Now what you see here is the structure of a typical Chisemba module. Okay. So you have a controller, which is the C in your MVC uh, architecture. You have a register configuration file, which um, is the file that contains all the things that you need to register to the system. And it's very simple, a very simple text file. And then you have the templates that you use. And there can be content templates, layout templates, and page templates. Generally, we use only content templates and the main template generally has simply got two lines of code instantiate the canvas builder and show the canvas according to um, the module if you wanted to change your uh, uh, your, your, your template to be a page template you just change it to page here but we're not going to do that and that's your so that's your templates I'm not going to go into page templates and then if you if you've got SQL it would be in here um, and there are sample files created for you to show you how to build and how to create your um, your uh, SQL for your data tables as well as some default da data uh, that can be used to populate um, your your database and then uh, the latest version of Chisimba with the canvas uh, architecture typically works with a external JavaScript file and in that external JavaScript file you put all your jQuery and, and, and things like that that you need to, to run the module and then of course you've got your module classes some blocks uh, that you can play around with and, and edit these to, um, to do the kinds of things that you want to do and it's that simple now you've got a module for Chisimba that is created using the uh, module builder that's built into the application what this gives you is it gives you sample code that follows best practice it has all of the uh, comments doc blocks and things like that for generating API documentation everything is done according to the Chisimba coding standards so if you study what is in the module that is created you can't go wrong in terms of coding for Chisimba and building a really swift nice application that takes advantage of things like Ajax and uh, and uh, building on the jQuery f uh, framework etc but takes also advantage of the best aspects of PHP and the best aspects of having an, a, a framework with a module uh, with a MVC architecture now let's go back hopefully module catalog has done its business and we can now search for switchboard we can search for switchboard 
and there is switchboard oh did we install it already okay I'm amazed yeah because we didn't install it why is it saying uninstall I'm going to uninstall it and reinstall it there we go okay not sure why it said uninstall there that I shouldn't have said that okay now you can see that you have a complete blank screen a blank slate and that you have one button here that says turn editing on and that's because this is a module that doesn't contain really any necessary functionality um, but you can add blocks for example maybe you want to add a login block which you won't see of course because I'm already logged in uh, but let's see if there is a how about a skin block there we go there's a block for changing skin so if I add it uh, I now have that as a block uh, what about if I want to add uh, I don't know these some of these blocks are things that I've created okay friend me on Facebook block okay so I add a block now I've got to add me on Facebook block what about the wide block over here oops I can't add a block until I select one can I what if I want to select my profile oh there's my profile so I can add it as a block bom 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 that's it now I can turn editing off and guess what now I've got an in a user interface so building a Nutrisim module is actually pretty simple huh? that's all thank you goodbye